he said it's he said it's over here. No. But Craig was playing it here, Vivian. No, that's that's not right either. No. Oh, well, hold on. Let me at least try to sing it. All right. Guys, what's happening, man? Mike Gross, RockinGuitarLessons.com, and YouTube.com slash RockinGuitarLessons1. This isn't really a lesson. Um, this is about, a, you know, it's funny, I, I, the YouTube community is awesome. I, I didn't realize how awesome this whole thing was going to be on YouTube, and I've met some great people, man. Um, and I, I continue to, I'm, almost daily. It's awesome. Uh, Raggy Ragsdale, R-A-G-G-Y-R-A-G-S-D-A-L-E. Very good friend of mine on YouTube. Go check him out. He's a real guy, a good guy with a good heart. But I was watching a video from him, geez, was it yesterday? Yeah, yeah, it was just. I'm pretty sure it was yesterday or the day before. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It was real recent here. And he was talking about trolls. I forget how he had his title. Haters and Trolls or something like that. And uh, so I always show Raggy some love. I like the guy, man. He's a really cool guy. And um, so, you know, I watch a good chunk of his videos just because I like him as a person. <clears throat> and it was about, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you came up with the word trolls, but I think it's hilarious, Raggy. You were just the man. Funny. But, you know, I watched the whole thing. I was like, man, there's some really jerks out there in the world. But you got to, you know. We're not like little spring chicken young people, so we know, you know, we, we've been around. And he's quite a bit older than I am, so he knows. But I was just surprised, like, how, how, how could someone hate on him? I started to get caught up into that, but he's such a, a cool guy, man, such a real guy. But, you know, then I thought about him, like, well, yeah, obviously, you know, I've had little run-ins myself. But uh, I guess trolls, Raggy, are like the, you know, I still need you to explain that. The trolls, you, maybe you did on there. I need to watch it again. The trolls are the real bad ones, or the haters are. I'm not sure. But anyways, let me get to my point. I so I get home from teaching um, today. My guitar students and bass students and stuff down the hill, and uh, so I went on and you know checked my YouTube and you know I always do. I look forward to getting you guys comments and stuff. This one was great. Um, it's a guy that uh, apparently. Uh, my lesson on Dio, don't talk to strangers, he, he really wants me to know how wrong I am in it. Um, I jotted down the basis, you know, the basic things of what he wrote. He wrote me like three different emails and each one titled and, and, you know, like, like this guy really, really is set off, man. Like he took the, he took some time, you know, and you'll see. Because you may think, why am I even giving the time for this? Because it's hilarious, man. It's hilarious. Um, how desperate people can be, you know, in their attempts, you can see, you know, well, I'm going to read it, the, the basic, you know, his, his final one to me, and I don't even know who this guy is, and frankly, I don't even care, but it's like, whatever, if he's a good guy, I would, but, you know, okay, a few points he made about me, he's talking about me, I say I'm playing it right, but I'm not, now, I paraphrased a little bit, but I didn't change any of the meanings, because I didn't want to spend too much time writing out, on, of, you know, for a waste of, uh, you'll see what I mean. So he's talking to me saying, I say I'm playing Don't Talk to Strangers right, but I'm not. And he sends me four links, you know. Uh, did I click any of them? No. It's like, you know what, it, it's, I didn't. I don't need to, and then you'll see why. Um, so he sends me those four. I think that was in his first one, and then, uh, you know, but I, I put them all together here. His second point, um, I'm just showing 10 seconds in all my videos, and I try to make as many as possible. I can't even read my own writing. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm just showing 10 seconds, and I make as many videos as possible. Anyone can do that. So, I did kind of what Uncle Raggy did. I went to his, uh, his YouTube page and checked it out. 
nothing, dude. Raggy, same thing. Nothing. No videos, no activity, no anything, no information, no age, no name, nothing. And I'm not going to give the name. Uh, that's not necessary. But, um, and I know why, Raggy, and I don't know if you put it together. I mean, the, the guy doesn't want you me to know who he is but it was quite apparent to me when it says the start date of opening this YouTube channel of his is September 5th um, that he just opened it up <laughs> he just opened it up today to fire away at me he has nothing on his thing you know that he's he's gonna point out all these things on me hilarious right off the bat I was like this is ridiculous okay so uh, um, anyways even my basic stuff is wrong that I teach you guys. Almost 2,000 subscribers in uh, about three and a half months, and boy, you guys are just putting your trust in the wrong teacher. Because even my basic stuff I'm showing you guys is wrong. What are you guys thinking? <laughs> okay, I need to go faster here, so I don't waste too much tape on, on this loser here. Um, and then he told me, you know, my basic stuff is even wrong. He's just telling me this because I seem cocky and arrogant, so he, he just wants, you know, he's got to, you know, let me know, you know, because he's going to humble me. He told me I need to uh, maybe take a bite of some humble pie. Is that a band? Yeah, I'm real cocky and arrogant. He, he, he knows me. This guy, you know, I've never met him in my life. I'm really cocky and arrogant. I'm sorry to offend you, buddy. But I got your view, didn't I? And that's what it's all about, right? That's what you say. Let me read on. My subs are all beginners. That's why they say things like, it's epic and excellent. And I do have some subscribers that say that, and I know who they are. Those are real people, buddy. Those subscribers of mine, they're good human beings. And they're also musicians, and some of them are pretty dang good musicians at that. They've been playing years and years, some of them longer than me. And I ain't no spring chicken. Okay, so he tells, tells me, keep going through 100 videos a week. It makes you look bad. And I feel so bad, you guys. I'm sorry. I, don't do, I wish I could do 100 videos a week. I don't. can't. I got a family and I got my private students and a life. I spend a lot of time out here. I love it. And there's a reason that I do this. There's lots of reasons that I do this. Um, but 100 a week, man. I, I was cranking him out. Whoever this uh, guitar teacher is or who he's uh, standing up for in here must really be pumping him out. Wow, I wonder who it is. Um, other people do it better than me. Oh, the dagger hurts so bad. Um, and then he said, just like I said, I am a master. <laughs> am I? Would you like to send me the, the link to that one where I said I'm the master? Please do, because this video is for you, buddy, so let me know where I'm the master. And if you feel that way, thank you, but I'm not, but wow, you really esteem me highly. I'm no master, that's for sure. I'm a struggling musician just like the rest of you guys, striving to get better on my instrument, that's for sure. Um, I just want attention. That Me, I, I'm just doing this for attention. Uh, I ain't got nothing better to do, you know, with five kids and a wife of over 20 years. I just want attention. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Oh, and I'm almost done, guys, so I won't waste too much more of your time here. In my tags, I put 2012 Olympics to trick people into clicking my videos. This guy... Look, man. He has analyzed my YouTube channel to the point of... of I mean, you've already heard what he's said he's like like a fine-tooth comb he's even seen what I'm putting in my tags let me ask all you guys this why would someone do that I've done it I've looked at other people's tags but you know this is a whole different situation because you know I learning as I go I'm really new at this whole YouTube thing so um, so I'm putting 2012 Olympics on my tags and I like I said I have yeah I put several things in there Although I don't know why lately I can't see my own tags unless I go to edit or whatever. Um, I don't know why that is. Strange. Um, but that's to trick all you guys into clicking my videos for hits. Um, of course, there's no one that 
is into Olympics that maybe plays the guitar or bass or drums or sings or plays keyboard. No, you know, if you're a musician, you're just a musician. You can't play sports. So I, I, I guess I can't put 2012 Olympics anymore in my tags. Why don't you send me a list of things I can put in there? Oh wait, you can't. You're blocked. Shucks. Okay. But um. Yeah, so I call myself a professional teacher. I should leave uh, that to the guys that do it right at... And there's two different uh, YouTube channels he gave me to go to. And uh, I chuckled. I, I, I chuckled. As soon as I saw that, I, the light bulb started clicking on. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. I can see what's going on. I'm pretty sure. I'm not positive, but I'm, I'm pretty dang sure. Um, so then I'm not going to give, you know... To the, I'm not going to give you guys the info on who he said to go to with it. That wouldn't be fair to them just in case uh, this is just a loony. Because they're all over the internet, as we're finding out. Um, but they deserve to be called professionals because they have excellent and accurate clips and lessons. Not that Mike Gross guy from Rockin' Guitar Lessons 1. He just wants hits and puts 2012 in his, in his tags and... And, and stuff like that, and uh, he plays things wrong. Let me wrap this up really quick, guys. Is that hilarious, man? Oh my God. That's what I think of that. Um, on the deal, don't talk to strangers that you were so adamant to start something with me over. Let me say a few things here. When I first started this, it was about three and a half months ago, maybe four. I used to have a different channel for a real short time. And, um, you know, I've been private teaching since 1992. That's all I've done. That's all I've known. You know, I'm not good at very many things in life. I really don't feel that I am. But I'm confident with music. Not cocky and arrogant. It's the <laughs> opposite of who I am. I'm, I'm a struggling musician just like the rest of you guys. But um, just to, you know, because I'm probably going to title this one something uh, about the viewer with the problem of my, how I, wrong I played Dio, Don't Talk to Strangers. And he had to send me all the links and stuff. First of all, Craig Goldie was one of Ronnie James Dio's guitar players. And he's a friend of mine. We were in a band together. The version that I watched live in concert, this is how it was played by him, okay? Doug Aldrich played it in a different spot. And Vivian Campbell played it in a different spot. They were the same notes. The exact same notes on different strings. As a matter of fact, I think Doug Aldrich was... I think tune down a half step. I didn't spend too much time to research that for you because I realize who you are. You're a troll and a hater and it's cool. I'm glad to have you. You know what? Welcome. Welcome aboard as my, my Uncle Raggy would say. Um, but this is how uh, Craig Goldie did it. If uh, you want to check out for yourself, feel free to type in Ronnie D or just put in Dio. Don't talk to strangers. Craig Goldie. There's not very many of them up in concert with Craig Goldie. And watch where the camera's at where he's playing it. And then go look at my lesson and then see if that's where my fingers are at. Okay? I hope that you can sleep now, buddy. I really do. Um, I know you have a little mission, you know. And I, I'm no fool. I wasn't born yesterday. I think I know kind of who you are and what your mission is. But it's okay. The more power to you, buddy. Um, but this... Since I'm all about hits, and I don't care about my subscribers, and I don't communicate and talk with them and try to help them. And just so you know, let me say this really quick and then we're done. This is a new venture for me. And it's way more exciting and fun than I thought. Even haters like this make it that much more fun for me. So thank you. You know, you take the good with the bad. That's part of life. That's how life is. But um, it's been really a, a, a cool, fun journey. I learn as I go, and I'm still learning as I go. But the reason that I started this was to bring my lessons, for one, onto the internet, but I am designing a website that I know a lot of you are, are going to be joining. You know, I hope as many of you that want to get better on the instrument join it, but if you don't, you still got this channel, and, and it's free for you. But this is, the initial idea is this is the vessel, you know, and then you can get your fine-tuned lessons at my website. But when my website's up and running, I'm still doing this. You know why? Because I love it. I love the YouTube community, and I've met some great people. And I have some awesome subscribers and people I really like, man. 
I really, I mean, that's the part I think that shocked me the most out of uh, everything, is the people that I'm meeting. Um, I love it. I love it. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to be done with this one now. But uh, to my hater, thank you. Because I know you viewed this one. And guess what, buddy? I got your hit. I got your view. I gotcha. I gotcha. You watched it. Oh, man, I'll sleep so much better now. Bye, guys. Peace out, man. See you later. I'm Mike Gross. Oh, wait. RockingGuitarLessons.com is my website. It's coming soon. At the end of 2012. This is for my hater, the troll. Um, so be ready for that. You can check that out. Um, I'll keep you posted when it's coming. And then uh, this channel is YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1. I subscribe to your channel, hater, troll. So you got one subscriber now. One. Good job, buddy. Keep going. You need to work on those tags, though. Maybe put the Olympics in there. Religion. God, devil. Politics. I don't know. I'm sure you'll come up with something. But have a good day. I think I know who you are. See ya.